Welcome to this quick video tutorial for the Tomo Twin clustering workflow. This video tutorial is meant to stand alongside our written tutorial on the Tomo Twin Read the Docs and demonstrate some of the features of our Napari interactive clustering workflow that allows you to pick multiple proteins of interest in your tomograms without having to provide a single reference for any of the proteins you'd like to pick. To get started, you see that I've opened two files. The first file is our tomogram. And the second file is an embedding mass created with a simple script in TomoTwin that essentially masks out the region of our tomogram for which TomoTwin has created embeddings. To start the interactive workflow, come up here to Plugins and the Pari TomoTwin and click on Cluster UMAP Embeddings. From here, we simply need to provide the path to our TomoTwin UMAP file for this tomogram. This is again created with a simple script that essentially takes our 32-dimensional embeddings for the tomogram and approximates them in two dimensions so that we can directly interact with them here. This opens this panel on the right with a histogram containing our embeddings. From here, we can drag this window to make it bigger, and you can always zoom in the tomogram using the mouse wheel. If you come up to this magnifying glass tool, you can draw a zoom box to have these embeddings fill this panel. Now, the basic usage of this tool is to simply outline a cluster of interest in the UMAP, give it a few seconds to calculate, and see these embeddings now highlighted in the tomogram. In this case, picking this particular protein. If you hold shift while doing this, you can select multiple clusters of interest to allow you to pick multiple proteins at the same time. Now we see a second protein, and I'll just draw a third cluster to give us three proteins of interest picked in the tomogram. Now, another way we can use this tool, if you have a particularly small protein or a protein with a low copy number, or you're just having a hard time finding your protein of interest here in the embedding map, is that we can zoom in on our tomogram and simply click anywhere in the tomogram and see a red circle appear in the UMAP. And you see here that this doesn't quite appear to be somewhere on a cluster. If we come to advanced options, we can turn on log scale. This simply changes the scaling of the histogram to make some low copy number proteins easier to see. So again, we can come here in the tomogram, click, and we can see a red circle outlining here. If we change our zoom, we can see that there are in fact embeddings here. We can now draw a cluster of interest around these embeddings. And we can see that our protein of interest is picked as well as additional similar particles in the tomogram. So from here, we would want to save targets from these embeddings to pick these proteins in this tomogram as well as uh, other tomograms within our data set without having to repeat this process. So in order to do this, we can come up here into Plugins, the Pari Tomo Twin, Save Cluster Targets. Now we simply need to provide a path to our original embeddings file because we want to calculate the targets in 32 dimensions and not in our two-dimensional map and provide an output folder. When you click on save, it's simply going to take all of the embeddings here for each cluster, look at their corresponding embeddings in the 32 dimensions, and take the mean of all of these embeddings that are enclosed within each cluster. This mean will then serve as a landmark in the original embeddings to pick this protein of interest, which you can use in this tomogram, as well as additional tomograms you may have in your data set. So the last thing I'd like to show you guys in this video is a quick tip for picking large proteins of interest most optimally. So let's say, for example, we have this large protein here, which we know corresponds to this elongated cluster down here. Now, this cluster elongation happens with the nature of the way that TomoTwin creates embeddings from the tomogram. It essentially moves a sliding window through the tomogram and generates embeddings as it goes. So when you have a particularly large protein of interest, you're going to have embeddings where uh, the protein is in the, in the box, but not necessarily centered within the box. And you're always gonna have at least one embedding where the protein is centered within the box. And to pick this most optimally, you'd see that if I just selected this entire cluster, we'd see that it nicely, essentially pseudo segments out this protein of interest in the tomogram. But if we generate a uh, target from this to pick this particle in this tomogram and other tomograms by taking the mean of all of these embeddings, what we would likely get is picks that are slightly off-centered. Uh, and that's not what we want. We want our picks to be centered on this protein of interest. So in order to do that, 
what I would recommend you do is to search around in your embeddings and look where uh, essentially the embeddings for the center of your protein are and then go more out and see that in this case, in this elongated cluster, when we're in this region down here, we're looking at the center of the protein, and when we're in this region up here, we're out more towards the periphery of the protein. Uh, and we can actually visualize this directly. So if I select this cluster here, we can see that a lot of these embeddings are in the center of the protein. If we now start to select additional clusters going further and further up this elongated cluster, Let's just do that now. We'll go here, and then we'll select one more up here. So what we can see in a lot of cases is that at the very center of the protein, you have these blue embeddings. Then as you go a bit further out, the green embeddings, then the red embeddings, then the purple embeddings. And what we would ideally want to do is draw a cluster in our in our U map here that only picks the center of the protein. So in this case, we would if we wanted to pick this protein, it would be better to pick the blue embeddings here rather than the green, red, or purple embeddings here. And the best way to do that is to simply click around in your tomogram and see where exactly those proteins of interest are.